everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and I have another Lego pick a brick haul for you guys today. And I know it seems a little excessive. Like I've bought a ton of pieces for the Lego city recently. However, they get used up very quickly, especially when you're trying to build like giant things and mountains and stuff like that. You go through pieces very fast. So I bought six new cups full of Lego pieces that I'm gonna show you. And I bought all of these actually when I was on vacation. I went up to Washington DC to visit some family. And while I was there, not only did I of course go to multiple Lego stores to check out the pick a brick wall, but also I got my hands on a certain Disney set and I actually got it for free. So I'm gonna tell you that story in a little bit. And I actually teased what the Disney set would be in my last video. It was this vlog of the entire trip and some shopping, some DC monuments. It was just like a bunch of stuff, kind of like a travel vlog, but were Lego people, so there was a lot of Lego stores and stuff like that as well. And at the end of the vlog, I showed this duffel bag full of Lego pieces, and it's it's kind of crazy. Like I have, I think, 30 or so bags like this, just like full of pieces from this set. And based on the color scheme in this set, a lot of people actually guessed it right, which was very exciting. I wasn't sure if y'all were gonna get it, but it is in fact the Disney Castle. I got a second Disney Castle, and as you can see here, I have like Tinkerbell in the bag, and then like Minnie Mouse kind of over there. I probably should have packed these up a little bit better actually. So how did they get a second Disney castle? And also what am I planning on doing with it? Cause I already have a giant, you know, the Disney castle in my Lego city. Why do I need two? So my mom actually got into Lego recently, which is really exciting. She's been watching the channel and she's like, I kind of want to try this. And so she got a bunch of the flowers, the roses, Disney castle, the typewriter and the grand piano. That's another one that she got. My parents live in Orlando and my mom goes to Disney world like all the time. And so that was like the first set that she really wanted to get was of course the Disney castle. It's like a landmark of where we're from. But she was like, you know, I don't really want this here. It takes up so much space. And so she was like, do you want this? Is this something you could use? Should I just sell it? And I was like, no, please. like if you're, if you're handing out a Disney castle, I will gladly take one. And so now I have a second Disney castle. We flew home with it in like these 30 little Ziploc bags. And I was really waiting for someone to like stop me at the airport. Cause I also had these six pick a brick cups just like in my purse. And it's kind of weird, you know? So now that I have the Disney castle here with me, it's kind of in pieces, but I think that's fine. Cause I'm planning on doing the costume shop rebrickable. Now, I've never done a rebrickable before, so I don't even know what that entails. I know you have to buy the instructions. You might have to buy a few extra pieces, but hopefully it's not too many. And then what I'm envisioning for the building process is just total chaos, right? Because there's so many pieces in this set. I think there's like 4,000 pieces. And of course, when we build a normal Lego set, there's different bags. So you're kind of organized in that sense. With a rebrickable, you're just like, here's a giant thing of pieces, like a duffel bag full of pieces. Good luck. So I really don't know what to expect from that building process. I feel like it'll be kind of chaotic and hectic. So if you are familiar with rebrickables, please like leave a comment down below. Tell me how it is. Cause I'm like kind of stressed about it. So that's kind of the story of the Disney castle. I'm very excited for it. And also having duplicates of all those minifigs is definitely a good thing. Okay. So now let me show you the pieces we got on the pick a brick walls because we got a lot of like variety, some boring pieces, just like for the mill system, but then also some really cool stuff. So while we were up in the Washington DC area, we stopped at two different Lego stores. And usually within the same region, you kind of find very similar pieces on the wall. However, this time, even though there were some similarities, there were also quite a few differences on each wall. So we found a pretty good variety of pieces. So here's our first cup. And I got a bunch of these gold flags that you can see here. I thought it'd be kind of cool for like a Disney area. I don't know, just like decorations in Disney world. I got like 15, or 20 of them, which is probably too many, but I still thought it was cool. And then next we have this piece here, and I don't even know what to call it. It's like a curved sloped thing. It's kind of dark turquoise, and I'm not really sure what to do with this. If you have any ideas, please let me know. We got probably like 15 or 20 of this piece as well. I don't know what to do with it, but I thought it was neat. We also got a bunch of these sand green jumpers. Some brown one by four plates, that'll be good for a forest type area. Some one by two black plates, I'm not sure why, but Ross wanted these. Some two by two tan jumper tiles. I think these would actually be good for like a desert type area or a beach. And then there's some like way at the bottom here. Some one by three forest green bricks for a forest. One by two black bricks for mills. And then I actually have something really fun planned with these already. So these are the same piece that are used in the roses. Now these are obviously blue, whereas the roses are red, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to like color swap some of these out. So I'm gonna try that and see how it looks. I don't know, blue roses. I feel like that's not like a very normal thing, 
but I thought it'd be kind of cool because they had this piece. So I wanted to try it. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. Okay, we're done with cup one. Let's go on to cup two now. This one looks really boring. It's just like white and gray. So here's cup number two, and we got a bunch of these one by two white tiles. I don't really have anything in mind on what to do with these yet, but I feel like it's just a really good piece to have. We got a bunch of these one by six dark bluish gray plates, and we're going to use these on our road plates in the Lego city. And then they're kind of buried in here, but we stacked a bunch of these one by four light bluish gray plates. I think these are also just going to be used just around the city. We don't really have any plans yet for them, but it's just kind of a good piece to have. Alrighty, cup number three, we have a bunch of these tan one by two bricks in here. And I think these are really just for the mill system as well as like a desert area. Also a bunch more of these one by three forest green plates. And then also some of these green, I'm not sure what to call them. They're often used like for Lego beds, like for the pillow. Um, they're not sand green. I'm not sure what this color is called. It's like a muted kind of dusty green. And then just a bunch more of these dark bluish gray plates. And then some of those turquoise pieces we saw earlier, some brown. Really, we were just like mix and matching these cups, which now that I'm thinking about it more, sorting this is going to be a huge pain. Okay, so cup number three is the fun one. This is like the Halloween cup. Okay, so we got a bunch of these spiders that you can kind of see in there. I got like 30 spiders. I feel like that's excessive. I feel like that's too many spiders, but we want to do something really fun for Halloween in the city. And so have like the downtown just be like dressed up for Halloween. Maybe if like Disney World's looking a little bit better by then, have spiders around there. So that'll be kind of cool. And then also these bones for for Halloween, I guess, throw some of them in the dog park maybe, but I thought the bones were kind of cool. And as you can see in the cup, there's all these like columns through it. These are a bunch of one by three light bluish gray bricks that we're gonna try to use for mocks. Like I really, really wanna start building mocks for the city and not just have like normal modulars, but my own modulars. So I'm gonna try that out and just like having a bunch of bricks in gray seems like a good idea. And then also a bunch of these white window pieces, we're gonna try to add those to the Avengers Tower because right now we have kind of like a, a mock as a base of it and it's not fantastic. I am very aware that it's not the best, but it's a good start. So I'm gonna try to add on to it. Okay, so cup number four, this is like actually very satisfying. It's like layers of bricks and I love it. But on the bottom, we have more of these one by two white tiles. Moving up, you can see some of these two by two round jumpers. And then up here in the black, it's a bunch of these two by two plates, but it's the plates with only studs on one side of it. And I don't know what we're gonna use these for, but I kind of like them. And then on the top, finally, we have a bunch of two by two round brown tiles. Now, I think that these would be really good in a forest or for pathways and I don't know tiles I just like them so we always get them so cup number six here this is the brown cup and this is gonna be a pain to sort later because it's just a bunch of brown pieces and I think there's four or five different types of piece in here and then some gold on top so that'll be easy but yeah there's a bunch of one by one bricks there's some one by two inverted slopes there's some one by three inverted slopes there's some one by two bricks I think that's everything this is gonna be a pain but really good pieces for a forest. So I feel like we just went through all of those pieces pretty quickly, but the overall plans for these pieces are to do a forest. Like for example, all these brown pieces here that you can barely see because of the glare. This is the brown cup. I wanna build some trees with that and just like make the forest kind of happen. So I'm not sure how to do that yet. I've never built a Lego tree that isn't just like four pieces. So building something a little bit bigger is gonna be a challenge. And then with all the green pieces that we got, I really wanna do a forest in the Lego city. And I've been talking about this for a while. We haven't actually started it yet. Actually, I take that back. I do have like a small start to it so far. I have the Scooby Mystery Mansion kind of set up on a mills plate and there's like a forest around it. So it's, it's kind of the start to the forest. It's not fantastic but it's a start. And so having more green pieces like this will definitely help. And then all the tan stuff that we got, I am trying to build a little desert area. So I really like the Mario line. I think the Mario sets are great. I have the NES over there. I have like every single Mario set. They make me very happy. I love the Mario games. But anyways, in my Lego city, I wanted to have a Mario world because I have all these sets and I don't really play the Mario game. So I'm gonna try to set it up to have like the Mushroom Kingdom and then like the desert area with like the pokies and stuff. And then a water themed area, probably like a soda jungle as well eventually. And then maybe like a haunted area. So yeah, I have a lot of plans. Um, it's just implementing it's kind of hard without the pieces. So hopefully these tan pieces go a long way in the desert because right now it's just like a base plate. But I am really excited to keep working on the city, especially the Mario world, right? Like I think that's gonna be kind of cool. And then the forest and like a river eventually. So there's a lot of plans. So definitely stay tuned. If you are new to this channel and you enjoy lego city content make sure to hit that subscribe button down below i do really appreciate it thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one